You suffered significant harm and injury as a result of someone's carelessness, and now you want your attorney to be nasty and obnoxious and aggressive with the opposing lawyer. You want to let them know that your attorney is the most aggressive, strongest, vicious pit bull anywhere. However, did you know that when interacting with opposing counsel, I don't have to like the attorney? I don't have to love the attorney. I don't have to socialize with the attorney. But what I do have to do is I have to be professional and courteous with opposing counsel. You want to know what this is all about? Come join me for a walk through the neighborhood as I share with you exactly what this is all about. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski, a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. There are so many images of attorneys who are strong and angry and will fight for you and they'll get justice for you because they're so strong and they have this appearance of being vicious and being pit bulls in the courtroom as well as outside of the courtroom. You want the opposing side to know that you have a vicious bulldog of an attorney and he's going to be relentless in pursuing your case. And that's an admirable trait, to be relentless, to be pursuing justice. Those are all admirable traits. However, you may not realize it. As an injured patient looking to obtain money as a form of compensation for all the harms and losses and damages you suffered because of someone's carelessness, you want to get the most you possibly can. Some injured patients, some injured victims are vindictive. They want revenge. They want an eye for an eye. If all this bad happened to them, if all of these injuries happened to them, they want something similar to happen to the people whom they have sued. Now, our civil system of justice does not allow that to occur. The only thing that our civil justice system allows is that an injured victim, an injured patient can go ahead and try and obtain money as a form of compensation for all of those injuries and damages. So what does it mean if your attorney is actually pleasant and cordial with the opposing attorney? Does it mean that your case is doomed for failure? Does it mean that there's no possible way you can achieve justice? Does it mean that your attorney is bending over backwards to help the defense? The answers are no, no, and no. The reality is that even though we are on opposing sides, even though we are fighting for our clients, even though we are doing everything on behalf of our clients to further our client's case, does not mean that we cannot be cordial and polite with our adversaries. What often happens behind the scenes that injured patients and injured clients don't see is that the attorneys, both the plaintiff's attorney, your attorney, and the defense attorneys are required to work together. Now, what does that mean, work together? The court requires that attorneys prepare compliance conference orders, which means the attorneys have to work together to work out scheduling. The attorneys are required to go ahead and exchange documents. And if there are disagreements, to try and work it out before asking the court to intervene. Now, it would be unreasonable and untenable, meaning unworkable, if every interaction your attorney had with the defense was absolutely not. You can't have that. You're not getting that. You're not entitled to that. You don't like it? Go make a motion to the court. Now, that's being unreasonable. Why? Because your attorney is going to know that the defense is going to reach out to the court each and every time. And now the judge is going to get very upset that your attorney is not, how should I say this, playing nice with the opposing side and not cooperating. And if it reaches a point where the court feels this is intentional, when your attorney should be providing certain documents and certain information and refuses to do so, now the court has a number of options to penalize and to punish your attorney and possibly you on behalf of your attorney. Don't think for a second that just because your attorney comes off as being aggressive and obnoxious in front of a jury or in front of the opposing attorney in public, that that means that they're not going to be polite or cordial to their opposition behind the scenes. And that is often what occurs. Now, I will share something else with you you may not be aware of. There are many instances where working with an attorney in the past may help, actually may help, further resolution or resolve your case in the future. Now, you might be wondering, how is that possible? Just because you've worked on a case in the past with an attorney, you're telling me that it's going to help me try and settle my case in the future? The answer is, it might. 
based upon the prior attorneys who have worked together in the past. It doesn't mean they love each other. It doesn't mean they like each other. It doesn't mean they socialize with each other. But what it does mean is that they likely will have respect for each other. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to open your eyes and help you understand how these types of cases work in the state of New York. You know, I realize you're likely watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York, but you have not yet started a lawsuit and are thinking of doing so and still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.